Now we get to question eight. Question eight, you throw a ball straight up. Its acceleration at the top of its path is what? The acceleration of the ball at the top of its path. So you throw something, it doesn't have to be a ball, a marker, or what? At the top of its path, what is its acceleration? This is a question very, very, quite often misunderstood and missed during tests by introductory physics students. A lot of students put zero. They would put choice A. Choice B says 9.8 meters per second squared. Choice C says the acceleration is less than 9.8, but not equal to zero, okay? Well, here is the issue. Once the person throws the ball and it leaves their hand, right? Once you throw something and it leaves your hand, what is its velocity? Well, the velocity is whatever you gave it, right? How fast you pushed. What is its acceleration? The acceleration depends only on the force of gravity. Gravity is pushing it down. The gravity is constant. And therefore, the acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared down all the time. Okay? So you give it certain initial velocity, the acceleration is down, g. We give it a symbol g. Therefore, the velocity slows down, slows down, slows down, slows down. The final velocity at the top is zero. However, the acceleration should always be equal to what? G, 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 right? So the acceleration is G, the acceleration is G, the acceleration is G, the acceleration is G. Then the velocity starts turning back. The velocity becomes negative. Remember, velocity was a vector, magnitude and direction. So it's first positive, then negative as it falls back down, right? So velocity is positive, acceleration is negative. It slows down, slows down, slows down. It reaches a, a velocity zero, acceleration is still negative. Then the velocity is negative, acceleration is negative. Together they fall down and the velocity keeps increasing after that in the negative direction, okay? In all that time, the acceleration has always been equal to 9.8, okay? The instant it hits back your hand or the instant it hits the ground, there's no more acceleration, okay? So in any kind of problem like this, your answer should always be 9.8 meters per second squared. This problem might even be reworded like this. You throw a ball straight down, okay? You throw a ball straight down. Once it leaves your hand, what is its acceleration? Once it leaves your hand, what is its acceleration? Now, again, introductory physics students are probably gonna think, well, since you threw it down, right, you gave it a little bit more acceleration, right? But that's only during the time that the, the marker or ball was in your hand, right? Once it leaves your hand, what is its acceleration? It should still be 9.8, never more, never less. Of course, I am now ignoring the effects of air friction, so don't include air friction into this. So no matter what the situation is, always put 9.8. Okay, now we go to the next question.